All right, friends, it's that ministry reflection. It's that seminary student thought process. It's that time of the day where I'm getting ready, but I'm thinking about the fact that God has been up to things. As I am in seminary, this is curl cream for those of you that are wondering, what is she using in her hair right now? I'll show you. Uh, hey, Shea Moisture, if you want to be my, uh, my uh, sponsor, feel free. No, on a serious note, though, um, I was thinking this morning I had a good conversation uh, with someone from our school about kind of like my class semester and figuring all those details out. And I'm taking this off because I'm hot. One of the things we talked about was um, a little bit about what my intentions were going into seminary versus what I've gotten out of it. And I thought it was a good reflection that I could possibly share which is I think part of coming to seminary it was an act of obedience and not necessarily with me knowing all the steps and having the game plan by the way my hair is curly but I'm curling with my finger so I can have a perfect finger coil see that see how beautifully it looks okay it also prevents my hair from being super frizzy when it's hot outside the way it is today but I was thinking about how <sighs> when I came here, there was God opening doors, there was things happening, but the biggest thing that I thought I was going to do was get a degree that would help me have more credibility in ministry and have maybe a lot of academic, deeper under theological understandings of the Bible and, and have better ways to, when people have questions, to answer their questions. While I am gaining those things. I also believe that the biggest thing I'm learning right now is actually obedience, hearing from God and moving on what he says and being interruptible and our participation in the movement of what he says. So let me flush, flush this out a little bit. Um, I think in the past, I totally am obedient when I hear from God and I move, but there's a difference when you have so many things to do. You have academic things to do. You have... Um, I have a job, I have, you know, there's things pulling on me all the time. So the temptation is to no longer become interruptible, but to literally just focus on getting your task done because that is of high priority. However, part of ministry, part of ministry is still hearing from the voice of God and moving on it. And the beautiful thing is those decisions have been so fulfilling they give you something differently emotionally and spiritually and they fill up your soul in a different way and so an example I want to give is the other day I was studying Hebrew I was very stressed out <laughs> and I was like I just need to go for a walk so I went for a walk and when I went out on a walk there was worship music playing and I all of a sudden, I got to worship the Lord. I felt recharged, and I came back, and I studied, and I passed my Hebrew exam the next day. It was the alphabet test. But, um, or last night, I'm in the library working with, we're studying, like our little group, and just getting our work done. Um, just classmates. And then, you know, I'm like, we're all talking about grabbing dinner. And then it's like, why don't we all grab dinner together? But there was a moment where one of my classmates got a little emotional and I was like, are you okay? You want to share? And it opened this door of vulnerability. And, and there had to be for me a willingness to lean in and a willingness to put the work down. And I think that that's actually maybe the temptation. Um, I think that men, people in ministry may forget that part of the reason you signed up to do ministry was not to get a ton of things done, not to be a product or executor of tasks, but to build relationship with people and be interruptible to hear from the Holy Spirit and do what God asked you to do. And that involves talking to people, that involves praying with people, that involves putting the schoolwork down sometimes and looking at somebody and just leaning in and praying and asking questions. Like that pastoral ministry. Ta-da! aspect is so important that pastoral part is the why you know behind the schooling it's the main thing 
like caring for people's souls is the main thing. We're studying all these things and it helps to have a better understanding to do it better. But the main thing is the soul caring for people's souls. So yeah, I just wanted to name that as the school year is progressing, as I'm reflecting as a seminarian student. I could tell you all these things I'm learning. I thought about making a video about that, but I just think today's reflection or discussion with um, somebody about what am I learning? What did I think seminary would be like versus what it is? I think I thought it would be, I thought it would not just be biblical stuff. Wow, this is getting real vulnerable. The whole world is seeing my process. But I think that it was it's way more, there's a lot more uh, spiritual, there's spiritual formation happening in me, but there's also like just way more interruptible moments where you have to follow the Holy Spirit and the temptation is to not do that. The temptation is to not lean in and um, because there's so much to do. And I think if we're training up to be in pastoral roles or even academic roles, there has to be a reminder that part of doing God's work is caring for souls greater than it is to do the work. That is the work. The work of God is caring for souls. So just thought I'd share that. That was a little bit of my reflection. And um, I gotta get back to living my life. But just thought I'd be able to pop on here and share a little bit of that because it was a good reflection. All right, my friends, you're amazing. You are loved. You're the bomb. God has a purpose for you. And if you're in ministry, be interruptible today. It only produces good things. Be interruptible today. The fact that I can get ready this fast. Like this video is under 10 minutes. I do not see how quickly I'm going to put on some mascara. I might as well finish this all with you all. <sighs> yeah, guys, today the docket's really busy, but I am grateful. And I'm grateful too because I got some food downstairs in the microwave. Honey. My Thai food is like just my favorite. It really is. I'm gonna just do very minimal makeup today. No eyeliner. I lied. Alright guys, that's a sign from the Lord. Goodbye. I love you. Have an amazing day. You're the bomb. You're called deuces. <laughs>